In MBB, our students learn to become scientists. They study a wide range of subjects to start with, from genetics through to microbiology, biochemistry, molecular biology, and then in subsequent years, if they choose, they can specialise more and end up doing a big research project at the end of the degree, going into our laboratories and studying questions that we don't know the answers to. The reason I came to Sheffield was because I wanted to study something with biology and chemistry. And Sheffield had the course of biochemistry, which is the perfect marring of both of those subjects. So I looked at the different lecturers who study, uh, who teach here, the scientists, the research they do, and all the different facilities available in the MBB department. And when I came here, I was even more surprised and astonished by the uh, resources and facilities we have here at our disposal. Practicals are really fun because we get to look at molecular biology. We study proteins and DNA and also microorganisms. What's great about this course is that when you do practical labs you get a really good sense of understanding every step of the way you know why you're doing something so you come out at the end knowing and feeling like you've accomplished something. Here in the Department of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology, we study the molecular basis of life. So these are the chemical reactions that happen in every cell in every living organism that really make life possible. So in order to do this, we bring together experts in diverse fields. These include biochemistry, genetics and microbiology. And their work is leading towards addressing some of the greatest challenges that face humanity. These problems include feeding a growing population, developing eco-friendly biofuels to combat climate change, tackling antimicrobial resistance by developing a deeper understanding of how dangerous bacteria do what they do so we can develop new antibiotics, and challenging problems such as aging, um, so that maybe sometime in the future we can treat terrible diseases such as cancer and Alzheimer's. So as part of my project, we were randomly mutating a protein in a model plant. Uh, this protein was a receptor for light, um, and depending on the light that it absorbs, it caused the plant to grow in different ways. So by mutating the protein and seeing how the plant grows, we can start to figure out how the protein works. This has implications for crops and how they grow, so if we manage to alter a protein by understanding its function, we can start to get crops with larger yields. The clinical diagnostics project was uh, about analysing chromosomes. So we first learned how to visualise human chromosomes and then arrange them in order of descending size into a karyotype. And then we obtained samples and um, did karyotype analysis to find out what type of leukaemia they had. Early and proper diagnosis of cancer is vital to its correct treatment and I feel privileged to have gained an insight into this kind of research. The research that I've been doing has been into neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and the type of work that I was doing is, is giving a deeper understanding of the kinetics of how these diseases actually happen and how some potential drugs can target these processes and stop or even reverse the progression of these diseases. So that could save a lot of lives and it's really, really needed with our ageing population. Our students achieve wonderful things while they're in our department. They do lots of research and that leads to publications and prizes and they go on to take up jobs at um, prestigious institutions doing further research or move into the health service. Some become teachers, some become patent lawyers. We're extremely proud of our students when they leave.